guys, my name's Bridie from Bridie Bakes and I make lots of yummy treats and delicious things. But today I need you guys to help me out with something. It's going to be Mother's Day soon. Now our mums are so amazing and they do so many things for us. So this Mother's Day, it's a really good time to remember all those things and give them a big thank you and maybe even make them something special. So today we're gonna make some really fun Mother's Day truffles for mum. Have you had truffles before? Sometimes they're called rum balls as well, but we're not gonna put any rum in them today. But these are the ingredients that we are going to use. I've got one packet of biscuits that's about 250 grams. Now I'm using arrowroot biscuits today, but you can use any kind of sweet plain biscuit. So you don't want any chocolate on it or anything, but you can use Mari biscuits or malt biscuits or coffee biscuits. There's lots of different kinds that you can use. Next up, we've got one cup of desiccated coconut. Now desiccated coconut is coconut that has been dried out and shredded up really finely. Next, we have one tin of condensed milk, which is about 400 grams, and that's going to bind everything together. And lastly, we've got one quarter of a cup of cocoa, which is gonna make it really nice and chocolatey. I've also got a cookie cutter, it's an M for mum. And some sprinkles and marshmallows and other fun little decorations to put on at the end. So the first thing that we need to do is crush up our biscuits. Now if you have a food processor at home, you can ask a helper and see if they can crush them up with you using that. But otherwise, you can get a big Ziploc bag like this and a rolling pin and do it by hand. So now I'm going to put my biscuits straight into my Ziploc bag. Hold it open nice and wide and pour them in. If you want, when you put them in, you can break them in half like this just to get a bit of a head start on your crushing, but it doesn't matter too much. Now we need to close up our Ziploc bag nice and tight. Try to squish out any extra air and zip it all the way across. But before I start crushing these up, I'm going to wrap my Ziploc bag in a nice clean tea towel. And that's going to help stop any mess in case the bag breaks open a little bit. So you can see all the biscuits are still inside, but it's just going to make it a little bit quieter as well when we crush it up. Now you're going to need those big strong muscles and we can roll over them we can very carefully give them a bit of a whack as well. Just be careful that your fingers aren't in the way. Now, every now and then we can have a little peek under to see how we're going. It's definitely starting to get crushed up but we wanna keep going until it's almost like sand. So a really nice fine crumb. Just keep checking and you can even hold the bag up and give it a bit of a shake to rearrange them if you need. Almost there, just a little bit more. If you need, once you get to the end, you can leave the tea towel off just so that you can see what you're doing a little bit better and just finish off the rolling like this. Now this is looking pretty good to me. There's a few little bits in there that are a little bit bigger than sand, but overall it's looking pretty crushed up. So this will be really good. So now that we've all done a really good job on crushing up our biscuits, we're going to pour them into our bowl and then we can add all our other ingredients. So grab your bowl and pour in all your crushed biscuits. Now we're going to add in our coconut. 
and our cocoa. And now we can give that a little mix together. I'm using a silicon spatula, but you can use a wooden spoon or even just a normal spoon. So just gently mix that all together. Mmm, everything's starting to look nice and yummy and chocolatey already. Now that that's all mixed, our next step is to add in our condensed milk. Now it might be a good idea to get a helper for this as well, because the can can be very sharp, so we have to be very, very careful. So open up your can and pour it in. And now we're going to mix it all up together. Try to be gentle when you're doing this because otherwise the crumb mixture can jump out of the bowl and make a bit of a mess everywhere. Now you need to be big and strong for this bit too because the mixing can take a long time sometimes and it can be a little bit hard after a while. And sometimes when we think we've mixed it all in, there'll be sneaky little dry bits down at the bottom. So try and make sure you get all the little bits. Phew, that was tough stuff. But now we are nearly finished. Usually when you make truffles, you roll them into little balls and then roll them in some coconut. But we're going to try a few different things today to make it extra special for mum. But first, I'm going to clear away my dishes and grab a plate so that we've got somewhere to put our little truffles. So the first truffles that we're going to make are some pretty sprinkle truffles. So I've got a little spoon to help me scoop out my mixture and some pretty sprinkles to roll it in. So we're going to get a spoonful of our truffle mixture, put it in your hand and roll it into a ball. I like to squish it up a little bit first so that's all nice and tight. And then roll it up until it's nice and smooth. And now, instead of rolling it in coconut like we would a normal truffle, we're going to roll it in some sprinkles. You can use rainbow sprinkles like I've got here. If your mum's favourite colours are pink and purple, you can do some pretty pink and purple sprinkles. Whatever you'd like. And then we've got our pretty little sprinkle ball. Now your hands do tend to get pretty sticky rolling these, so you might have to wash them every now and then. And definitely before you go away and do anything else. Otherwise you'll be spreading your sticky all over the place. If you want, you can even put a little surprise in the middle of these. So when you're rolling them up, I like to use a little Malteser and put it in the middle and roll it up around it so that when you bite into it, you've got a lovely little surprise. Next up, we're going to have a go at some shapes. So I've got my M for Mum cookie cutter here. So I've got a little bit of baking paper just so that the mixture's not sticking to my bench. And I'm going to get a big spoonful. and plunk it on top. You might need to get a little bit more. Now you can either use your hands or a rolling pin again and just flatten it out a little bit. You can measure it with your cookie cutter to make sure it's big enough. That's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna flatten it out a bit more and make sure everything's nice and squished together. You don't need to make it too thin, but you just want it fairly nice and even and flat and make sure it's all compact so that it's not going to fall apart later. Now, if your mixture's a little bit too wet and sticky, you can pop this in the fridge for a little bit just to set it up and make it a little bit easier. But mine looks okay here. So now we just need to take our cutter, line it up, and then push it down all the way through. 
Now you can take away all those edge pieces. Sometimes you might need to use your spoon to help. It can get a little bit stuck in the corners. And then we can gently press it out of our cutter. And lift the cutter away. And there we have our M for Mum. Now even if you don't have any cutters, you can still make some really cool shapes with your hands. So grab some more truffle mixture. Squish it all together with your hands. And shape it however you'd like. You can press it down a little bit to flatten it out if you need. And there we go, without even having a cutter, I made a pretty love heart for mum. Another way to do it is to roll it out into a really long sausage and then you can use that to write some letters or make some shapes. Now these are looking pretty cool, but I still think they need a little bit of decoration, don't you? So I've got a little bit of white chocolate that I've melted in a bowl in the microwave for little bits at a time and then popped into a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to use this to drizzle over my letters and shapes and also use it as a little bit of a glue to stick on my other decorations. So very carefully, I'm going to snip off the corner just a little bit. Squeeze it all down. And then I'm going to drizzle across my M. Now before that sets up, I'm going to sprinkle on some sprinkles. And maybe even stick down a couple of little flowers. And even a little icing ladybug. How cute. Now for my heart, I'm going to use some little mini marshmallows and make a pretty flower. So I've got my melted chocolate and my mini marshmallows. And I'm going to get one, put a little blob of chocolate on the back and stick it down. And then I'm going to use a different color and do the same thing all around the outside. I might put some sprinkles on this one as well. So I'm gonna swirl the chocolate around this time. Just going around the outside of the flower. And maybe a blob in the middle so that I can put some sprinkles on there too. And there we go, some very special treats for mum this Mother's Day. You can pop these in the fridge just to make sure the chocolate sets up nice and hard and everything holds together nicely. Don't forget to tell your mum just how much you love her and all the things that you're grateful that she does for you. And maybe if you're extra special good, she might even share her truffles with you. Thanks for watching and good luck with your truffles.